Hello, welcome back to Factorio. All right, I'm gonna do something totally different. This is like totally, totally different out of the way I've normally played Factorio. I'm going to do yellow science before purple science. And I have never done that before. I've always done purple science, like always in order. But uh, I decided there's so many things available for me that I'd like with the utility science. The, the construction bot speed is one of them. The, the requester chests, those are just huge. Requester chests are like the game changing. Like So that's what I'm going to do. And we'll worry about, you know, electric furnaces and some of the things with trains and and uh, nuclear power. That's another thing that's all based on the purple science. So we're going to go straight to, to yellow science. Utility science, it's called. All right, so I've got my um, ratios already calculated. I'm just going to start filling things in here. <laughs> Well, I'm not going to start filling things in. This is going to be kind of a long iteration. So the first thing I'm going to work on are the uh, flying robot frames. I'm going to need... I'll need nine flying robot frames. And that's quite a few more than... Well, it's three or four more than what we'd already set up for the construction bots. So this should be this should be pretty fun. It's going to be uh, it's going to allow me to to do all of the um, the suit all of my suit stuff. I'll be able to do all of the um, upper level exoskeleton. Well, I could have done that already, but the the portable fusion reactor. That's just a huge huge game that just changes the whole aspect of the game when you can start you know using the construction bots just on a massive scale oops I don't think there's anything uh, maybe uh yeah let's pick let's do that that'll help the our wall defense for now we can we can do rocket fuel i i haven't even i haven't even constructed a single train yet but we'll go ahead and we'll just do that one Okay, now we're gonna we're gonna need a set of uh, engines. The engine build isn't too bad, just five. And I, may, I, am, I imagine that this engine is only gonna require one pipe, but I'll have to check. Yes, just one pipe will be sufficient. So let's go ahead and. Uh, Let's go ahead and uh, set up the... the engines now. There we go. Outputs. Provide some iron plate to this. We can switch to the inner lane here and power on this thing. There we go. So we're going to have to go like that. 
that. All right. Now we only need um, five engines. I like the new engine graphic better. I think it, it looks pretty cool. Okay, I'll have steel on the bottom. terminated. think this a little bit. I need electric motors. I don't know if it, I don't think they actually call them electric motors, but maybe they do. I can't remember the exact name. Yeah, electric engines. Okay. Yeah. Engine generally means a form of engine. The, the term engine usually means combustion. Uh, and where motor is you know, considered electrical. Okay, that's... And he just needs... Well, I haven't even set the recipe yet. He needs just circuits. And those are way down there. Well, I'll just have to see what I can do. Oops, missed that one. There we go. belts. Go ahead and use them up bots and I'll go grab some more once you've sauntered your way back into my inventory. haven't taken the time to do concrete. I did take the time to finish the walls and I, I didn't even mention this. I changed the design of my walls. I used undergrounds instead of belts. It, 
built it, it was it, it was able to build the walls much faster because it wasn't having to put down every single belt and the undergrounds you know just sped that up considerably so I just left this alone I finished this yesterday up here and I just left it alone but uh, so today I changed the blueprint and then I walked it down here and I was able to starting about here I placed it down and then I just kind of went AFK standing down here and it didn't take long at all for it to get down to there so it's uh, eventually I'll try to put those blueprints in comments so that to, in the comments of these videos so that you'll be able to um, get them if you're interested all right I think I need to refocus let's get some let's get some splitters it should be right there okay and might as well grab another stack of blue a big gap there. There's a lot of room on this. This is like the most room I think I've ever had. All right, so I'm going to have to get greens. Up here. So we're going to have greens coming in. And I'm going to just put them on one side, and then we're going to have flying robot frames coming. No, we're not going to have flying robot frames. We're going to have electric engines coming out. So, But I will have to split them off. And to the right, and we're going to have the electric engines. There we go. And then we're going to do uh, in and out. So we'll out on the left side and in on the right side. And we're going to power it from over here. There we go. Now that's, that's looking pretty spiffy. So let's go ahead and get some inserters down here uh, yeah I can put it right there I just, just have to change this up yeah I'm gonna put some buffer on that belt I don't know if it if it needs it but I'm gonna do it anyway it's just a Puts, it just puts we'll put a little buffer on that belt so you know it's too bad I can't do this differently I know I just spent all this time making it look nice but uh, I'm going to see if I can't change this up a little bit so this will have to be kind of Closer there. We, okay, that needs to be hooked up to steel, doesn't it? And then these guys, I'm going to have these come up. Send this the other way. And I just wanted to do that so I didn't have to thread the engines all the way around. And uh, yeah, I think it actually that looks pretty good. That's a that's a pretty tight build. 
What aren't we missing here? Something isn't is missing. We're missing power poles. Okay. And we're missing lubricants. So lubricants already on the belt. So it's already on the bus. Let's not worry about. Well, let's do that one because I'll be able to use it once we get this. Okay, we'll go ahead and do logistic bots. It's just because we can, and then we'll just do that one. Well, and then we can do another um, lab research, and I think that's we might be done with blue, with all the blue science that we can do for now. I think we might be done with all the blue science. Okay, now we're going to have to split off the engines. Get rid of that one green there, okay. And so now we have to do the flying robot frames themselves, which is pretty simple. Five of them. Nine of them. I think that's probably nine. I can just do a quick copy. Yep. And I like the new flying robot frame graphic. I think that looks pretty good. The old one was just kind of, uh, that, this is kind of neat. It looks like a little um, turbine fan. I like it. Okay, right. is this too close to that steel? No, because we need steel. Well, if we need steel, let's just, let's see, we, this is actually two parts. So uh, I'll probably use long handled. Long handled. It only needs one steel, so a lot of the red ones, the red inserter, will be just fine. Okay, so that's going to be an input on it. So we'll put the input on the edge. And then we need green circuits, right? Well, we need batteries, oh no. How many batteries do I have to make? Ooh, I have to make three batteries, wow. Okay, three batteries. It's four things. I really need to combine something here. Is there room? Uh, is there room? I think the motors, electrically, the engines only need one steel. So if I can combine over, over here, it's not much room. And if I can somehow get interesting way of doing this is going to turn that that way and see if I can't combine this 
So will he put that on the, the proper side for me to... No, he won't. Okay. So I need to switch it around somehow. Yeah, there's not much room, is there? Let's see. There we go. That, wow. That was easy. Okay. Now we're... Now we're cooking with fire. Okay. Now all I need to do is... Is I can just get this to... Gosh, there isn't... <laughs> Man, I have... Yeah, let's do that. All right. And you go there, and you go there. Oh, man, this is crazy. And now there's room for the next belt right here. Okay. Uh, well, I've got my engines. Where am I going to sneak them across? I guess I'll have to. I got out. It's not going to work very well. That's. Just not going to work very well. Yeah, I'm going to have to just put... Uh... Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Okay. I'm going to change this up a little bit. And then the bottom will be the other two things. Batteries and engines. And this might actually jump across now. Let's see if it will. No, it will. Gosh. Okay, I, that's fine. Let's concentrate on getting some batteries done here. This is going to be a massive three battery setup. That's going to be a lot. So. Okay, batteries, batteries, batteries. And the output's going to come down here, combined with the engines. And it's kind of, kind of crazy. The, the second half of this didn't work out as nicely as I'd like to see it. But I, it's... It's pretty tough. I mean, when you got so many things, you need to, to, to try to fit into the build to get it to work. You know, if I did batteries up there, this would kind of make more sense. Although I kind of wanted to use the space down here. Then I wouldn't have to do this 
thing like this. We'll just leave that there for now. side and put our batteries right here and that would be that way okay Just sulfur, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's fine. can't do that because we have to have the belt there and is there any no there's not so it's just gonna have to come in from up here okay one more blue science and then we're done Okay, and then this will be fairly quick. It's, at least I think it might. And let's see where we last pulled from. Okay, we'll switch it. See if we can't get some sulfur to that thing. Or sulfur. Sulfuric acid. Uh, 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 I think we'll have to probably do something like that. And oops. I'm going to try to concentrate on using, 
you know, if I can get away with using yellow inserters instead of blue, you know, what I'm trying to do is save electricity. Because one of the problems with my previous builds, previous maps, is I'd have so much just, you know, not caring how much electric, electric, electric power I was consuming. I would just, you know, continuously use the blue circuits, the, the blue inserters, the fast inserters. Seems to be the problem here. Oh, no output. Okay. And because it's the belt is full and it's putting it on the wrong side. I boy, I really I really messed that up. It needs to be like that. Okay. My bad. I thought something was wrong with my uh, battery setup. Dokie. And there we got our first flying robot frame for this section of the factory. Well, that's not too bad, I guess. I mean, it's not, you know... It's, you know, it's okay. I imagine we could have saved a little space if, if, you know, if this section here was somehow... Well, if maybe this would have been p placed in front of this, it wouldn't have been as wide as it was, but, uh, you know, because, you know, it's, there's plenty of room, but, uh, you know, sometimes I like to make setups so that, it, you know, we, it, it's as narrow as possible, you know, let's, but, uh, you know, it's okay. I, I think it, it turned out pretty good. I li kind of like how the blue circuit, the green circuits, kind of worked out. That uh, that was so. That looks like a pretty good build. Now, um, next up, next up is the uh, low density structures. Those things are just simple, very simple, but it takes a lot of them. It's going to take. I'm going to do 26 low density structure. Yeah, and it's going to, you know, use up all of our copper and I'll have to add another copper smelter to if the if I want this thing to to operate at full speed. Probably you know, more than just one copper smelter. I might might have to add two. It's pretty. Oh, I'm gonna grab some more assemblers. It's pretty important to provide these assemblers with enough goods 
when you're doing the low density structure, it takes a lot of copper. I'm going to offload a bunch of the junk I have in my inventory. It's, it's funny because since I'm working on Yellow Science, I'll, I'll immediately get requester chests and then I, I can basically redesign this whole thing. Because with requester chests, basically what I'll do is replace these chests right here with requester chests and then tear everything else down. I won't need the ring. I won't, I won't need all these belts bringing parts to it. <laughs> it's funny because if I would have just done that, then I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have had the fun learning experience of setting up that thing from scratch. I didn't grab the assemblers, did I? Yeah, so immediately I'm doing the yellow utility science. So now my walls sushi stacker is obsolete. Well, it's, it's still going to be a sushi stacker, and it's it's going to be set up the exact same way. It, it's just the supply is going to change. Yeah, this is going to really be burning the... This is going to be burning the, the copper right out of my factory. So, 13, we're going to have to... We're going to have a belt here, and there'll be three belts. Oh, great. and four It's going to output in the center belt, and then these other two are going to be copper. And on the outside we'll have plastic and steel. So we're going to output on the, um, let's output on the bottom edge. Oops. Come on. Oh, no. All right. Let's go ahead and move and copy it now.
it's 13, so there's an odd one. Oh, just run it down, just run it down, okay. An odd one, all right. Okay, now we're just going to combine the inputs. going to be there. That's better. And I'm trying to think and why am I why don't I just use red undergrounds and red belts for all this eventually well it's only going to take a half a second to to upgrade it using the upgrade planner things are slow all right that is the low density structure so the next thing on my agenda is to do blue circuits and those are going to take some finagling I do have a good plan for those but I'm going to save them and the actual actual you know assemblers making the yellow science will save that for the next episode so thanks for watching